Welcome back to my channel. This is not gonna be a thing, don't worry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Happy New Year, because this is the first video that I put in 2019. I know I'm super late already. We are the 21st of January and I need to calm down, okay? Alright, um, this video is going to be a very simple what I eat in a day video. As always, Please bear in mind that this is what I eat in a day and not every day. I filmed this on a Sunday and I woke up late. I had breakfast really late. So I don't know if this is like a typical day, but I guess it's a day where I take it easy. So went for a run and I did a yoga practice. I don't know if that's like matter that matters to you, but um, this is what I eat when I exercise, I guess. And I kept the video very short and simple because you're all here for the food, right, and inspiration and nothing else. So I hope it inspires you for recipes. And oh, before I forget, no, actually this is not gonna be a short video. I just want to um, tell you about projects for the new year, uh, things that I want to do on my channel, my blog, in my life. So if you're just here for the what I eat in a day, I'll put the <laughs> timer, the timing, uh, so you can skip that intro. But honestly, if you like me, then watch the intro so we can like interact in the comments and talk about what I'm going to talk right now. So what's new for the year? I have a list of things because I'll forget. First of all, a uh, few of you have been asking me when is the ebook gonna come out? Like, yeah. <laughs> Mindful Life ebook is already an ebook that I have on my website for um, sale, and it's basically a guide that will get you transition to a healthier, more mindful lifestyle. It's, it's like a really, you can see more on my website, but, anyways, I wanted to redo it not, uh, last year. And I've got so many projects at the same time, I got a bit busy. Uh, but it's on the way and hopefully it will be done by the end of January. This is a thing that I'm saying. So like in nine days, I don't know, maybe beginning of February. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be redone and everyone that's purchased the last version will get it, will get the new one for free. Um, the new one's gonna be more expensive, so if you want to check it out now to get the new one for, for less money. Anyways, I'll put everything in the description box below. This is not the purpose of this video. Next thing is, yeah, what I'm gonna focus on this year. I want to bring you way more recipes on my Instagram, uh, video recipes because you like them. So hopefully I can get one every week on my Instagram. This year I want to run a few health experience or experiment on my body. I've already run one, uh, run one, <laughs> it's weird. I've already tested uh, a three day juicing detox thing. I did a blog post about it but I really want to do more. So if you have any ideas of things that you want me to try, whether that is like diet wise, fitness wise like trying a fitness program or trying like I did one minute plank every day for 30 days or something like that uh, I'd be super keen to try for you and report it on my blog so yeah let me know in the comments below in 2019 my big fitness challenge project will be running the Paris Marathon on the 14th 14th of April which is like in less than three months <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be my a challenge for me. I've never run really long distance things. I've never run a semi half marathon. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm diving two feet in. A few of you asked me why did you choose to do the marathon, and what made you take the decision to sign up. Um, I always, not always, because obviously not when I was two years old but for for a long time I wanted to run the New York marathon I, I thought it was pretty cool as like a life goal or like a life achievement to run a marathon and to run the New York marathon it's like on my bucket list you know I really wish that I can run it with my dad one day yeah when I was like in high school I wanted to do it but we were in Tahiti it didn't really make sense to go there and then when I was studying in Montreal 
it was really close to New York, but I just wasn't in a really good fitness place. Uh, I wasn't really athletic anymore. Yeah, it was just not happening there. Um, and then last year I thought about doing it, but I just checked that it was really complicated to get an entrance for the New York Marathon now. You either have to really run well and be selected or you have to get into a drawing. Plus it's pretty expensive, so I guess it didn't really happen and I thought, well, I live in Paris now, so why not run the Paris Marathon? I didn't do last year because I thought I wasn't ready. I'm still not more ready than last year, but I'm just thinking I'm 25 years old now and I just... I don't know, it'd be a cool thing to say that I, I ran the marathon at 25 years old. Uh, right now I think my body is in pretty good shape fitness wise, so not shape like shape, but more like, you know, um, yeah, I'm in a good shape. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this differently, not physically, but at the same time physically, uh, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just like athletic to run and uh, I thought, why not? Why, why wait? Uh, I'm always going to say to myself that I'm not ready. Um, all it takes is a training and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be documenting my marathon and I'll be doing three videos of the marathon at the end of the marathon. That was a really long sentence. But yeah, so there's gonna be marathon content on my channel but once I run it. This year I'm gonna focus on my yoga classes. Uh, if you don't know Last year, I was, I was gonna say yesterday, what? Last year, I did a teacher training and yeah, I became a yoga teacher. And I started uh, teaching classes at the, la at the end of the year. And this year, I wanna get that going, gonna get more experience, maybe do a few like, um, how do you call this? Things that last like two or three hours. Workshops, yes, workshops, uh, a few events. Or yeah, maybe more classes. For now I have three per week and I think it's pretty good already to balance with the blog. But as I get better, obviously like I'll it'll take me less energy and less like time to prepare the class and all because I'll just get better at doing it. But for now three classes is really good. I also wanna start doing short classes on YouTube because I know a lot of you can't come to Paris or are not in Paris and would love to practice. So I'll do a few classes on YouTube. And I also have this um, project of having a platform on my vlog that you can have longer classes. It's not gonna be free, it's gonna be a subscription, it's gonna be pretty cheap, um, but there's gonna be yoga classes on there, fitness classes, meditation, uh, forums, so that's a plan that I have for the year. Hopefully I can do it. I also have this business dream that I want to do. I don't know if I can tell you much about it because I tend to think that first of all I need to keep things to myself and work on them before telling the world. But I really want to get into this steps by steps this year, so that's what I'm going to do. But all I can tell is that it's yoga and health and veganism related and it's an actual thing, like you can touch it. Um, what else could I tell you about it? It's scary to start this on my own um, and that's I think the thing that I'll get to overcome the most. Last thing before I leave you with the video. Um, on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna try my best to upload videos uh, as often as I can. I will not promise you a video a week because it's been proven it's been really unrealistic for me. I'll probably broaden my, um, I don't know, my topics because I get pretty bored of filming what I eat or recipes. Plus, I think recipes work really well on, on Instagram. So I'll do them sometimes, but not too much. Um, but yeah, I just want to bring more, maybe more fun into my videos, like more entertaining content. Uh, not stupid things, but things that don't necessarily have a purpose of educating you or helping you related to my life, my lifestyle, uh, yoga or Paris or yeah, this kind of thing. I think um, I want to have more fun 
and be more authentic, I guess, of how I live. I also want to worry less about if the videos are gonna be like watched or uh, if it's gonna be like interesting for everyone that's uh, subscribed to my youtube channel because i know that some people are here for the vegan recipes some of you are just here for the yoga or the fitness i guess it's just normal to do like various videos and if you like them or not it's your choice um i'll just make videos that make me happy to do and hopefully make you happy to watch uh, so that's my plan for the year it's just worry less about uh, if the videos are gonna be like watched or not um, but if you have video suggestions leave them of course in the comments below I don't know if I want to do a lot of vlogs because I love vlogs but sometimes it has this dimension of getting too much into the life of the youtuber and I don't see myself as I don't see myself as different as you, except I'm just like filming myself in a video right now, but <laughs> but like I don't see that my life is that interesting to be shown. I know that some people think that vlogs are helpful or just entertaining, and if that's the case then awesome, but I never want my videos to be about look what I'm doing. Um, this is how I live my life. This is how you should live your life. Like this is really not my point um, So I'm always really scared when I do vlogs because I never want this to show out or show Yeah, show from this video from the video. So these are the plans for 2019 now let's dive into this what I eat in a day and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye so for breakfast, as I told you, I woke up late and then I went for a run. I run on an empty stomach because I don't like to have food in my in my belly. Um, so I just made a smoothie with banana, orange, blueberries. This is protein powder. I've been adding it to my diet lately because I've been like increasing my protein intake because I'm training more. Adding hemp seeds and coconut water and blend that in my blender. And yeah, so I had this around 11 a.m. The last time I had protein powder was in 2015 and then I stopped taking it. I'm not so keen on protein powder, but I agree it's convenient, especially if you don't have a lot of time, but my protein is still like highly whole foods. So anything greens, seeds, nuts, soy based, tempeh, tofu, all these things. And then around midday I had a coffee with like a splash of soy milk. I bought this coffee machine in January. I stinned a little because I know coffee isn't that good, but I love the taste and it makes me really happy to have a coffee. So that's all. Then for lunch, um, I was trying a recipe for Instagram and the wrap didn't really turn out good to be wrapped in, um, <laughs> but it was really good. And the recipe is gonna come on my Instagram like tomorrow or today. So a lot of veggies, lentils, kale, um, really wholesome. For dinner, I had a soup and this soup, I'm making it like every week and it lasts me for two nights, which is awesome. Um, so I take like a full pack of frozen butternut. You can use fresh, of course. Um, then add a little bit of ginger, cook that like 10 minutes on the stove. I add that to my blender. I add two blocks of 100 grams of tofu. So that's like 200 grams. I think a bit more actually. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutritional yeast. I blend this up and this makes like a really smooth and filling soup because of the tofu. And then I topped it with like the tortilla that didn't really work. <laughs> but it was it was really yummy. And so that was my dinner. Uh, yeah, that was my what I eat in a day. I hope that was helpful and gave you some ideas. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video to follow me on Instagram for more recipes, IDs, or to check out my ebooks on my website. Bye!